Hello guys, what's up? Welcome back to another episode of my YouTube video. So if you are new to this channel, don't forget to hit the subscribe button and like button. This channel name is Jarza Baba and I would really thank you guys for you know getting so much view on my previous video which I have shown how to fix all MacBook Pro uh, audio cracking problem which I believe a lot of um, all machine problems so in this video I'm going to show you another tricks how to clear up your stories if you are using one like me which is a 128 size of storage SSD obviously okay you might have problem like out of storage and you cannot install anything you cannot download anything because your storage basically is just 128 so you really want to clear out the storage so you so you can have more storage to do a lot of things but you're not really sure what are the things that you should delete it uh, what are the things that you should really delete and which location you have to find in your macbook to delete those stuff because most of the time you have been using your machine for a very long time maybe then more than two years and there are stuff that you downloaded or you have you know uh, deleted or maybe you secretly hide it but you no longer need it so in this video i'm going to show you which way to find those stuff hello guys welcome back so right now i add my screen so i have recorded using uh, my macbook and as you can see right now i have a lot of stuff in my desktop basically first of all if you are using a macbook you need to know where to look at your storage okay you have to click the small apple logo on the top left and go to about this mac and you will find some detail about your macbook as you can see my one is late 2012 and this is quite old uh, go to the storage tab and as you can see i have only 32 store uh, gb of storage out of 128 so i swear to god that this is much better than yesterday yesterday i only left with only 5 gb so what happened is i have reduce some stories and that's when the idea come for me to help you guys out there maybe want to clear up your stories okay so now it is quite low i could say but uh, 30 gb is quite good enough uh, rather than 5 or 10 gb left now you want to you can browse through the thing here so you can see your document my document is taking 20 gb my application is taking 5 15 gb and my system is taking um 11 gb so basically that is where your uh, os and your your system data you so you can do anything about that and here is other okay what is other okay you might want to dig it up but you don't really know where is that other how what is 40 gb what is there so i'm going to show you the most basic part about this so now you're going to click manage okay so you will, you will see something like this okay you can see a little bit more detail on this and you can click on for example application here and you can see what are the application that you have installed on your macbook in my cases i have installed a bunch of stuff so microsoft office basically taking a lot of storage so you can see microsoft word is taking a 2 gb uh, Outlook is taking 2 GB, Excel is taking another 2 GB, and PowerPoint project is taking almost 2 GB. So you can basically delete anything you, that you don't want. Okay, for example, this is Opera. Okay, um, I can you can just uh, click it, and you, you can just delete it. Okay, so you can save uh, some storage. Okay, of out of application that you have not used. Okay. Beside application, what else can you do? Okay, this is the bin. So basically, this is the same bin in here. Okay, it hold a lot of garbages. Okay, you might want to empty the bin. Okay, so you can 
you know so the bin no longer there okay but of course the file is permanently gone so other than that so so that's it that's, that's just the thing that that you know from from here okay so I think you might save around 5 to 10 GB okay, if you remove some application here okay so other than that what else can you do okay now the basic is uh, now you might want to find um, uh, data uh, that have taken your stories so usually big data have take your stories for my cases I have a lot of video because I recording myself I download some video you might want to check out for any video just go to the finder okay just go to the finder here and click this Mac because you want to search for the whole for your whole uh, MacBook okay and go find something like video let let the searching do the stuff okay but as you can see here I have some video here okay this is a video that I have recorded before this video and just go for like for example mp4 because you know mp4 is a video file format and I don't I doesn't have one because I have deleted for example like mov okay so this is another okay mov uh, click on the last open date and you might found something but for my cases okay this is it. I'm not sure what it is let's open it up okay uh, okay basically this is uh, some video okay but it just take 5 megabytes so so like I said I have really optimized it if you don't want this you can just double click it and just move it to bin okay so I think I have cover up uh, for basic okay basic information that you would like to know but still you don't know what else have taken your storage okay um, this is the bonus part uh, I found out there is a very cool application named Daisy Disk okay Daisy Disk okay so as you can see blah 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 basically okay it can help you to find out what are the things that have taken your storage so they are a paid and free trial I just <coughs> you can always buy this okay but for me I'm just going to use the free trial because I don't want to spend it that much amount of money okay because I'm using uh, I am from uh, Malaysia and that ten dollar is quite a big amount for me so I have downloaded uh, I'm just going to I, I have downloaded and installed it I just going to open it up I'm going to open it up with spotlight <coughs> okay so if you are first time user for this desert is you can just uh, click continue trial but it, I have used this for like few times and you have to wait it to reset down to cool down before you can start using it again so Daisy Disk give you the uh, the uh, Daisy Disk okay this application give you the output okay this application will help you to find all the hidden file okay just click continue there and as you can see there are scan option here okay you can just click scan it and wait for a while for the scan to finish and it will tell you all the partition, all the you know all your data all your storage okay okay how cool is that as you can see now it show me more detail about my data so you can click so this is my 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 personal data user so this is my uh, name so basically I can see what are the things that are taking so much storage so like for example like document so I am a software developer so in here I have some some software that I needed so this is taking like 7 GB okay it's cool I love this DSD so I can see this is downloaded 
and I have a ton of file so all the IT stuff so you can you can you can you can see see the thing but if you are using the trial mode or the free version you just know where is it but you cannot delete it okay you might want to buy it to really you know just just delete it from here okay uh, if you are using the free trial you can know the path like for example this is let, let's say I have this you know almost 1 GB I can know okay, okay, this is the, the, the location so I can just go to my MacBook and go to download I know it is in download I can you know uh, check the name for example uh, view training okay okay you can see so this is basically the same with this and you can just delete it from here so other than that what else okay you might want to see I believe you can ex you have access for this user you know partition but other than that maybe some lib uh, okay library what is it okay mm, okay I swear to god yesterday this update Okay, already take me around 20, uh, around 15 GB. So that is why you need this DesiDis. It will help you to track down all the hidden files. So basically what is update? Update is just an update for your operating system, your MacBook. Okay, you can really uh, delete it. You, you cannot really delete it from here. So what you have to do is you have to go to the the most base location okay so you have to go to uh, you you need to go to finder and you cannot go any further okay any further than your than your then your home directory okay this is your home directory you cannot this is your home directory basically okay this is your home directory is the same like this okay you might want to go a little bit uh, deeper but you don't know what how uh, basically there are uh, some trick to do that you just click go for example in here and let's go let's click it and just hit it like this and we click go so Dang, so so you you just go a little bit deeper so usually those people who are technical guy will go here and click that library and find an updated updates okay so now you can see a ton of updated update file and you can delete this okay uh, other than that um, they are hidden space but I'm not sure still hidden okay there are some space take by restrict and you need to rescan by administrator unfortunately I am just using the free trial so if I'm using the paid version I can scan this um, using the administrator mode so that's it you might right now know what to do with your MacBook if you have run ran out of space so I think this video have explained you a little bit more what you should do okay and just a little bit uh, explanation uh, just a little bit uh, so just some stuff that I would lo love you guys to know um, on which condition your MacBook might run out of space usually after you update a new um, OS version for example previously I am using the Mac OS High Sierra and right now I'm downloading uh, using the Mac OS Catalina so what happened is um, Apple made us to download this uh, OS image and it cost me okay it take around 7 GB but fortunately I have download, uh, deleted that so when you have update to new uh, OS okay basically make OS Catalina you can find the you know the installer okay it might 
um, be in size like 5 uh, to 7 GB and you can obviously delete that one okay for, for my cases I have deleted it and same goes to the update uh, update uh, folder that I have uh, mentioned just right before that so that's guys I think that's all for this video okay guys I hope you guys enjoyed this video and could learn something about um, your storage of your very little 128 GB storage size of your Mac Pro okay so first thing you can go to the manage storage uh, which is come with the built-in um, system and if you want to find out any more file okay which not shown by the manage uh, built-in system uh, function whatever you call it just download the daisy disk or any other third-party application that can you know really scan onto your storage and find out what are the hidden files there you can navigate to your file system using the finder program and just delete it okay and if you have more budget you can subscribe to them and buy them and you can use the full functionality of them okay bye bye i hope you can get a lot more of your storage and can be more happy about your life without worrying anything more about your small size macbook pro okay bye bye so if you like this video don't forget to hit the subscribe button and like this video if you have any more question that you would like to ask just comment below and i will answer it if i can bye bye